Welcome to the Spiritual Checkup for April the 3rd, 2020. We've been unpacking together a spiritual survival kit, some of the essential things that God has given us to not only survive, but actually thrive, especially during times of crisis. Last week, we introduced the idea of meditation, and we looked at the first two R's of biblical meditation, that is reading scripture and reflecting on creation. And you can check that out in last week's Friday Spiritual Checkup video. We're going to look at the next two R's of biblical meditation today. It's really critical that we understand the battle for the mind. And the Bible makes this really clear to us too. In Philippians, it tells us whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think on these things. In other words, it matters what we fill our mind with. In Romans, we read this. Don't be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So the mind matters. And meditation, biblical meditation, is one way that we can win and thrive in the battle for the mind. Before we move on to the next two R's of biblical meditation, I do want to mention one thing. I want to say that if you're struggling during this time of isolation and crisis, and you're finding yourself overwhelmed mentally, that you're finding yourself in a, a sorrow or a sad state that you just can't cope with, or especially if you're dealing with suicidal thoughts or a mental distraction that's just too much for you to bear, I want to encourage you to reach out Tell a friend, tell a trusted family member, call your pastor. We're also going to put a couple of helplines at the bottom of this screen that you can call, whether you're an adult or there's excellent resources for teens as well. So I just encourage you to reach out. Don't suffer alone. Well, the next two R's of spiritual meditation and biblical meditation are this. First of all, remember God's faithfulness. The book of Lamentations is a very sad book. It's sometimes hard to read. The prophet Jeremiah is called the weeping prophet for a reason. He, he mourns the loss and the destruction and even the desolation of Jerusalem. The, the first word of that book is alas or how. And that sets up the tone for the entire book. How did this happen? How did we get here? But right in the middle of that book, there is one great hopeful verse in Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3. And it says this, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. This I call to mind, and so I have hope. That's part of med meditation, is recalling to mind the faithfulness of God. I think sometimes we suffer from a kind of spiritual amnesia. We, we forget the crisis we faced in the past or the challenges we faced in the past and how God was faithful. Not only in our lives, but in the lives of generations that have come before us. So meditation is practicing a recalling to mind of God's faithfulness throughout every generation. In the Old Testament, there was a practice of taking stones, sometimes a big stone, sometimes a bunch of smaller stones, and piling them together in a heap. It was actually called an Ebenezer. Not Ebenezer Scrooge, but Ebenezer means a stone of help. And the idea was that in subsequent generations, children would come and say to their parents, why is there a bunch of stones here? That's odd. And the parents would say, let me tell you what God has done. Let me tell you how we came to this place by God's help. That's an Ebenezer. That's an act of remembering. That's an act of meditation. And so how do we remember God's faithfulness? Well, we need to think about it. We need to literally sit down and recall to mind the ways that God showed his goodness and faithfulness to us in the past. And then write them down, make a list, post it on your fridge, post it on your door, add to the list as time goes on. 
as you recall God's faithfulness. And then turn that into a prayer. Thank God for the faithfulness that you see before you. And then maybe tell someone about it. That's how we can meditate on the faithfulness of God. So the third R of biblical meditation, remember God's faithfulness. The fourth R, and I think this might be the hardest, at least for me, uh, maybe for many people too. The fourth R is this, rest in God's presence. Rest in God's presence. In Isaiah chapter 26, it says, you will keep in perfect peace those who minds are steadfast because they trust in you. When I do shop for clothing, I shop very differently from the girls in my household. When I shop for clothing, my, my whole goal is get in, get what I need and get out. That's a very different approach from the girls in my house. Sometimes I do that with prayer as well. Sometimes I just come to God with a grocery list of stuff and I get in, I deliver what I want, and then I get out. I need to learn to slow down in my prayer. I need to learn listening prayer, restful prayer. What does it mean to simply be in God's presence? Jesus modeled this with his followers. A couple of times, and especially in Mark chapter 6, he says this, Come apart and rest a while. Come with me. Just be with me. Come and rest a while. Sometimes we need to do that in our prayer life with God. How do we do that? How do we, how do we come to the point where we, we lose all the distraction and the noise around us and simply be in God's presence? Well, some people, maybe like Pastor Samuel, like to sing. And sometimes singing a hymn or singing a song uh, helps you focus and lose the distraction so you can be in God's presence. Some people keep a journal beside them and if they have distracting thoughts, they write down those thoughts and to-do lists so that they can focus on God's presence. Some of us, and I found this helpful, practice a kind of centering prayer, a, a prayer that comes from scripture like, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And sometimes as I breathe in, I just say in my mind, Jesus, son of David, and as I breathe out, I just say, have mercy on me. And I do that until my mind is still, until I'm quiet, until I'm focused simply on being in God's presence. So if this is new to you, start with smaller amounts of time. Don't expect to just sit in God's presence for long periods of time. Start with smaller amounts of time. Remove all the distractions. Find a quiet space. Be fully present to God and listen. And that's one way we can meditate, through prayer in the presence of God. So biblical meditation is essential. It's an essential part of our spiritual survival kit for all times, especially in times of crisis. Remember to read scripture, reflect on creation, remember God's faithfulness, and rest in God's presence. Well, thanks for joining us today for our spiritual checkup. Make sure you tune in on Sunday. It's Palm Sunday coming up, and we have a special service that will be on our YouTube channel and you can check that out. Thanks so much.